The Light Director System by Kami Research assists technicians during the assembly of connectors by providing graphics, spoken instructions, and an illuminated target cavity in the workpiece. This automated guidance greatly reduces operator fatigue, assembly time, and error rate by eliminating the need to manually locate pin positions. Instead of counting forward or backward from reference markers on the connector's rubber grommet to find the insertion point, the operator looks for a bright, flashing light projecting from the target cavity. The flashing target is easily distinguished from the surrounding dark cavities. Insertion into the correct cavity is confirmed when the flashing light disappears. I'll give you a quick overview of how the system works, then I'll show you how an assembly technician uses the software. We first attach the mating part for the connector you plan to assemble on a special fixture and feed light fibers through open cavities below. A super bright LED lamp drives the other end of each fiber. Light from an LED travels efficiently through the fiber following any bends it needs to make. Without any cavities flashing, your mating connector looks like this. To begin, attach the connector you wish to assemble. With the workpiece attached, you're ready to begin. If this workpiece represents the first connector in your cable or harness, you'll be attaching wires not connected to anything else. As a result, we must rely on a color code or a numeric code printed on the insulation to identify the wire. We refer to this situation as first-sided pinning. This diagram illustrates first-sided pinning. You can see that the wires have no electrical contact with the system. Because of this, we must identify the wires visually by either a color code, a numeric code, or a barcode. We use this method when pinning the first connector in a cable or harness. In this example, I'll start by picking a red wire. On the computer screen, click on the red color block to find the target for this red wire. I'll show you more about this later. If we had a color scanner, we would scan the wire instead. A voice reads the target pin, and the cavity begins to flash. When we insert the pin, the flashing light disappears, so we know the pin has been inserted into the correct position. Now let me show you how the assembly technician uses the CableEye software to build the first connector in a cable. We begin by loading the connector we wish to build from the database. I'll click the Load Cable button and choose our first sided pinning example. We'll be working with a 16 pin circular connector in which 9 cavities will be loaded with pins and the rest filled with dummy plugs. In this wiring diagram, we see which cavities will receive pins and can click on a wire to see its color. We may also view the wiring data as a netlist. In this example, I have voice guidance turned on, so you'll hear a synthetic voice read me instructions. The assembly technician may either wear headsets or turn off the speech once he has become fully trained. To begin assembly, click on the Auto Build button. Press Push button to start. You may either press the black button on the cable eye tester or click the start button on the screen. Enter or scan a serial number for this build. Enter the serial number of the cable or harness you are building. The serial number is an option which may be turned off if desired. Insert pin cavity blocks as shown and press push button when done. At this time, the fibers for all cavities not used in the assembly flash simultaneously. Insert the pin plugs at this time until all flashing lights disappear. When finished, press the push button to continue. Select wiring to assemble. We may now begin pinning of the connector. I've set up this example so that I may choose wires in random order. Alternatively, I could have required pinning in a specific order if we wish to work from the center of a connector out or from the top down. I'll pick up a red wire and then click the red color block on the screen. Red wire to pin alpha. 
Now I'll look for the flashing cavity and insert the wire there. Note that the voice uses the NATO phonetic alphabet for letters to ensure that it's correctly understood. When I'm finished inserting the pin, I'll press the button. Now I'll pick the blue wire. Blue wire to pin kilo. This is the last wire. Brown wire to pin Bravo. Assembly complete. Check call connections and press push button to accept. At this point, all cavities, which should be populated with pins, will flash. If you've properly inserted all the pins, no light will be visible. You should gently pull back on each wire to ensure that it's locked in place. When you're satisfied that all the pins are inserted and locked, press the button to finish the assembly. This last step is like your signature of approval on the assembly. Assembly complete. The next video clip demonstrates second-sided pinning, so I look forward to talking to you then.